Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading. And this will be for May 17th through the 23rd third of May. And this is going to be for my Aries. So I hope you guys had a great week. Uh, my week has been extraordinarily busy. Um, it started on Mother's Day. Um, and it, I, it, I have been nonstop. I am so sorry I did not get your videos done last week. Um, I had a surprise uh, three-day visit from my daughter. Um, and I had not started videos and I wanted to spend time with her. I don't get to see her as often as I'd like. So she came down and we spent um, time shopping and doing things together. It was very, very nice. Um, and then I have been swamped at work. Um, field trip after field trip after field trip. And I have been doing nothing but driving. So it, it's been hectic. I have a very hectic week for me. So I'm trying to take one day um, and relax. Um, that's today. So I'm going to get your videos done and we will... Uh, See what's going on with you guys. So for my Aries. So let's give these five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Feels good to kind of breathe a little. I'm exhausted. Four. All right. There's five. So angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that my Aries need to know for May 17th through the 23rd, please? Aries, Aries. You guys are really good. Nothing wants to come out, right? Everything's going to be great for you guys. Greatness. Come on, Aries. We need some odd cards, my dear. There they are. Okay. It listened. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, the first cards that I am going to read are your inner cards. These are the cards closest to you, the inner cards, the cards that are coming in fairly quickly for you. I have the uh, <clears throat> the Eight of Hearts. This is the cat. This is an indi indication of there's some flattering going on. Um, somebody is flattering you or somebody, you're flattering somebody. Um, but there's that flattery that's going on or it will be coming in. So somebody's trying to get to you. Somebody's trying to flatter you into maybe a uh, admire that admires you and wants to spend some time with you. Um, five of hearts. This is the moon card. This is a good omen. Um, it predicts fortune. So fortune is coming into you. So that is awesome. Then I have the wine. That's the queen of clubs. This is um, be giddy. You know, have that glass of wine. Be cheerful and giddy and be yourself and just unwind and relax. And, you know, don't let things bother you. Um, You know, just relax and have fun. We have the three of hearts, the sun card. This is happiness and popularity are very near to you. So that is awesome. The king of hearts. This is the hand in hand. And this is an indication of... um. That you're going to meet somebody um, and that friend of yours, you know, you are going to, uh, it, it may turn into more than just a friendship. It may turn into a love interest. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. There's somebody that is a friend of yours that may turn into more than just love. Um, you know, more than just a friendship. It may turn into that love. Um, so that is a great thing. If you are married, you're married to your best friend. Ten of Diamonds is the scythe. 
and this is a disappointment. Um, so something may um, come along and it may um, be disappointing. Um, you know, it can be um, something breaks down, something along that nature um, that, you know, you just weren't expecting or you weren't ready for. But there's some kind of disappointment that is either here or has happened or will be coming in. I have the fire card. This is a great card. Um, this is the seven of diamonds. This is um, all the negative things that are coming in is going to be null and void. So nothing is going bad is going to happen to you. So that is a great card. It can mean a fire sign. So it can mean an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius that may be coming into you. Um, this is also, um, it neutralizes anything. Um, that bad luck. So you know, it's a lucky card. Very lucky card. The Queen of Diamonds. This is children. Okay, if you are um, planning on trying to have children, this is a good omen for having children. It is also a uh, oh, warning saying spend time more time with your children. Um, it can also mean, show that friendly disposition towards children if you do not want children. Show your friendly side. Spend some time with some children. Um, you, you see things totally different with children. Um, they like to talk and they like to tell you everything. So you can kind of see things in a different uh, light when you are around children. So those are your inner cards. Is your inner card. So these are the cards. The next um, cards that I'm going to read are your outer cards. These are the cards that are out there waiting to come into you. I have the 10 of hearts. This is that bouquet of flowers. And this is a, indicates a long and a happy life for you. Um, also children. Um, it, that means extraordinary honors and fame will be coming into you. Um, but the children are another aspect of this um, reading, this card too, is spend some more time with children. Seven of spades is the clouds, okay? This is, um, it indicates um, a domestic happiness. So maybe at one time you were in a long relationship and that relationship has ended. This ensures that you will have domestic happiness soon. The two of spades is the star card. This is a success card. Um, success in all of your enterprises. And it is a great card. Successful enterprises. Anything that you are out to reach for, it is going to be successful. The rap ears. This is a warning against um, an assault or a threat. Um, so... It's going to happen sooner or later, um, but just if you are aware of that, um, you can stop that from happening, okay? If you are, keep your eyes open and your ears open to some kind of a threat, you can stop that before anything happens with that threat. Four of clubs. This is the key. This is auger success um, in you know, in all of your enterprises, um, success is out there. It wants to come into you. You do have to put in a little bit of work. So it's kind of like opening that door, you know, on the other side of the door awaits that success, but you need to put in that work to open that door. You know, you have to put the key in the lock. You have to unlock it. You have to turn the doorknob, that little bit of work that you need to do for that success to come to you. Okay. Um, the Ace of Hearts. This is um, the Fox. There is um, somebody that you're going to meet, an acquaintance, that is going to be distrust, trusting. You should not trust this person. Um, it is an acquaintance. It's not somebody that you're close to. So it is somebody that you are going to meet that is not a trusting person. So be on the lookout for that. Ten of Spades is the Rod. Okay, and this is family quarrels. So there may be some family quarrels coming up um, for you in the future here. Um, it, you know, it usually starts by a distant relative, um, somebody that is not real close or somebody that lives out of town. It starts by that. And the last card I have for you guys in your main reading is the Queen of Spades. And this is a sign that, this is the Cupid. Um, the Amor. It is, someone is taking great interest in you. 
Um, they love you and they long to be with you. So you have a secret admirer out there. So that's awesome. So that is your main reading. So let's set those aside. Let's talk to Universe and see if there's anything that they want to clarify with this reading. Universe, is there anything that you would like to clarify with that reading for my Aries? For May 17th through the 23rd of May, please. All right, universe, give me some cards here for Aries, please. They don't want you to stay veiled. Um, they don't want you. To, they don't want you to stay covered up. Um, don't hide behind that veil. Um, open up. You know, uncover yourself and let yourself be known. Let yourself be seen. Um, they want you to uh, do a lot of nurturing. Um, we have uh, nurturing. So take time. We have Gaia and we also have the Autumn Equinox and they are all about releasing, nurturing yourself. Spending time out in nature. Um, we also have fairies for earth magic. So spend some time out in nature, even if it's to go in your backyard. You know, go out there. There's so much magic that is to be found out in nature. Um, you see the birds, you hear the birds. You hear the wind, you know, you smell that fresh cut grass maybe or um, see some animals, the squirrels, the birds, whatever it is. But there is so much magic to be seen if you guys take that time, you know, take that time to look at things in new perspectives. Um, they want you to create dream time, create some things um, in your life. So... Start making a plan of what it is that you want, what it is you want to create in your life, and the movement will happen. We have the river. So spend that time on working with yourself and finding out deep down inside what it is that you really, really, really want to accomplish and work on, you know, um, maybe you want to start something, maybe you want to start a new job, but look deep down into it. Once you look deep down into it, that movement's going to start happening. So that movement is coming into you. So that's awesome. All right, let's talk to Spirit. Spirit, give me a, a card. Give me a card that my Aries needs to hear card that Aries needs to hear for May 17th through the 23rd, please. What is it Aries needs to hear? Dear you, there is a balance between activity and rest, ebb and flow. You can't have one without the other. If you are faced with an obstacle right now, the best course is a surrender in non-resistance. Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around it. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life. Go with the flow. And in no time, you'll reach what you have your heart and hopes set on. Just remember, spirit will keep... Spirit will keep your head above water and will direct the currents. When it's time for a greater effort, you'll know exactly when you'll need to work those manifesting muscles. It can be challenging to master the flow 
cycles of your life. But as you develop your skills, affluent will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust those currents for we're right here with you with our little umbrella drinks, smiling at your success. Love you so very much. So the ebb and flow, you know, um, it, it, it's like that wave goes in and out and in and out and in and out. Good things happen, bad things happen, good things happen, bad things happen. So go with the flow of things. Let things just happen for a little bit and see where things go. You know, um, whatever it is that you are looking to accomplish, um, that your heart is set on, it will come to you. Um, you know, you have to kind of work those, um, those, br your brain cells a little bit and, you know, work those cycles, work through the flow of life. Sometimes life is good. Sometimes life can get hectic and, and, you know, it, and sad and, you know, unruly. But we need to learn to overcome that. We need to learn to trust. We need to trust in the universe. The universe is there. Spirit is there. They're there to help you and they're there to guide you. So I hope that helps, guys. All right. Last card for you guys is your mantra card for the week. A reflection card for you guys to reflect on for the week. Freedom is my divine right. Freedom is my divine right. I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. I am now becoming all that I am created to be. Awesome. You know, yeah, we can move on. We can move on. We can, you know, nobody can tell us that what we think. Nobody can tell us how to think, what to think. Those thoughts are our thoughts and only our thoughts. And we can move on, you know, those past things that happened in the past. We can move on to it from them. You know, it's our freedom. Do we want freedom? You know? It can be created, right? Freedom is my divine right. So I hope that helps you guys. Remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.